Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're going to go through the five components of a simple reflex arc. Now, a reflex is a rapid, involuntary, pre-programmed response that activates muscles or glands to help us avoid potential or further tissue damage. Now, this means it needs to be fast, and in order for it to be fast, it must bypass the brain. So all a reflex arc does is it goes straight from the site of the stimulus into the spinal cord and straight back out again to avoid that stimulus. And it's made up of five components. Let's work through these five components. So I've drawn up here a spinal cord and we're gonna go through the simple reflex arc. First thing is I've drawn up a hand and this hand has now been pricked by a needle. Now what this needle has done is it's stimulated a receptor in the hand. And this receptor takes this mechanical energy and transduces it into electrical energy. And that's the first component of the reflex arc is the receptor. Like I said, takes mechanical energy or some form of energy and transduces it into electrical energy. The second component of a reflex arc is that of the sensory receptor. And you can see that this sensory receptor goes from where the receptor is, this sensory neuron, from where the receptor is, down the arm into the spinal cord right here. So. The second component is the sensory neuron, which is also known as the afferent neuron. Afferent. Very important. Now what the afferent neuron does, like I said, it takes the electrical energy and sends it into the central nervous system. In this case, it's going to be the spinal cord. Now the third component of a reflex arc is going to be the control center also known as the integration center. And in this scenario, the control center or integration center is going to be an interneuron. What this interneuron does is it takes the signal that's come from the sensory neuron and sends it off to where it needs to go. And in this case, it needs to go to a lower motor neuron. And this lower motor neuron is the fourth component of the reflex arc. So here we go. Number four is going to be a motor neuron, also known as an efferent neuron or sending an efferent signal. Now, how do you know the difference between or remember the difference between an afferent signal and an efferent signal? An efferent signal goes to the effector. Efferent goes to the effector. And in this case, the effector is the muscle of the hand, which will contract and move that hand away from the stimulus. And that's the fifth step, is the effector. And like I said, in this case, the effector is going to be the muscle of the hand. So what you can see is the five steps of the reflex arc is the receptor picks up the stimulus, turns it into electrical energy, that then transmits down the second component, which is the sensory neuron, sending an afferent signal into the control center, which is the spinal cord, specifically this interneuron. It sends the signal control center. What do I want to do with this? I know I want to send it to a lower motor neuron, throws it to a lower motor neuron, which then comes out, that's the fourth component, sending an efferent signal to the muscle of the hand, also known as the effector, which will contract and move away, avoiding tissue damage or further tissue damage. And this is an overview of a simple reflex arc. 